Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And without doubt, a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's Real Madrid, and they take on Corinthians. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And a timely intervention. Vinicius Junior. Can they forge ahead? In it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, this is a very tidy goal finish, as you can Jesus. see. He's under so Number much nine. pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Well, the action underway. Can Real find a response now? Well, they have it again. Poritano, and he's broken free. And beyond the last defender, offside. Morientes. He's in here. And it's in, beyond the goalkeeper, Real Madrid on level. Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place, but give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Politano. Ronaldo on the ball. Went in strongly, decisively. Lota Mateus. Stones. A real opening now. And that is defending of the highest order. Ronaldo is with Vinicius Junior. Politano. And on to Beckham. Nicely timed tackle. And Real Madrid have it back now. Vinicius Junior. Ronaldo on the ball. And Politano with it. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Fernando Morientes. Good tackle from Mateus. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Mr. Moon has left the building. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Oyar Sabal. Morientes! And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Well, the goalkeeper dealt with it admirably. Fernando Morientes. Well, it's a decent looking attack, this. This could level it. And the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. And they will make the change now. Well, that's, well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position.
Is it going to be? And the free kick, not far off at all. Well, that was struck so well. I actually think he'll be disappointed he didn't score there. That's how good a player he is. Florian Wirtz. Havertz. Havertz. Toure. Could be. It's a perfect challenge. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. Is it going to be 3-1? Real chance. And the penalty is converted. A goal it is. And now he can exhale. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Florian Wirtz. Rudi Völler. And putting pay to the danger. Havertz. Now, who can he play it to? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Five minutes to go. Kai Havertz. Ronaldo Silva. Ronaldo. Serge Gnabry. And that is that, the end of the game. It goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them.